This is gonna allow this to be a better movement for your shoulders and your elbows. Hey guys, Gary Walker here and welcome back for another video. This is an at-home workout video for you guys. So I'm gonna give you a pretty easy workout that you can do. Now when I say easy, that doesn't mean you're not gonna have to work to get the benefits. Easy meaning the setup's pretty easy. It's gonna be a great, quick workout. It's gonna give you phenomenal results, all right? With that said, we're gonna get straight into the first exercise. The very first exercise we're gonna do, it's a lower body movement. I like to say an overall body exercise because it's also gonna generate a lot of blood flow, which is gonna allow you to warm your entire body up before you get into the other exercises. The first thing you wanna do, now if you have bad knees, then you wanna do some mobility work. You wanna stretch out a little bit, stretch your quads, your hamstrings, do some dynamic stretching. We've got some great videos on the channel showing you how to do those if you're having any knee issues or even hip issues. All right, so you wanna make sure that you've got your hips warmed up, your knees warmed up, then you can get straight into this workout. Now, the very first thing we're gonna do is just straight body weight squats. So for the body weight squats, again, the goal isn't to go really heavy, obviously. Um, so I really want you to focus on your form. Make sure you go down as deep as you can comfortably go. So again, we all have different mobility. You'll notice I get pretty deep on my body weight squats. You don't necessarily have to go that low. If you can go down to that 90 degree bend position, that's perfect. If you can't go that low, that's perfectly fine. Just go as low as you comfortably can. The key here is keeping your abs tight for one, keeping your chest out also, abs tight, chest out, and on the lowering phase, every time you're about to drop down into that descended position, you need to get that butt back. It's called a hip hinge. So get your butt back. If you got a wall behind you, imagine one is there. If you don't, just get your butt back like you're trying to touch it and then drop down into your squat position. That's gonna just give you a better alignment, which is gonna keep your, your hips more in alignment, your knees more in alignment, your ankles more in alignment. So it's just gonna help you with this exercise. Now, with that being said, I want you to shoot for three sets of 25 repetitions. Yes, 25 repetitions. Now here's the thing. I don't want you bouncing around. I don't want you going too fast. I don't want you to hurt yourself. I want you to use this to really activate your quads, your glutes. It's a great exercise, which is why I don't want you doing any heavy weight training. It's just gonna be straight body weight. All right, so you're gonna go nice and slow. This video, if you're intermediate, if you're a beginner, you can do this. If you struggle to get that many repetitions the very first time you do this, do as many as you comfortably can. Rest 60 to 90 seconds. Do a second set, another 60 to 90, then do your third. All right, now if you're more advanced, use less rest about 60 seconds rest. Also, if you're more advanced, use a four second eccentric cadence to lower your body. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Once you get to the bottom, explosively lift back up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. So that's the kind of cadence I want you to use. That's gonna just create more time under tension on your legs when you're doing that. So that's gonna be the first exercise. All right, the next exercise, just straight up push-ups. So if you can do straight push-ups, great. If you're struggling with push-ups, then it's okay to do these off of your knees, whatever you need to do. But again, I want you to shoot for about 20 to 25 repetitions here. So I want you to focus on getting stronger with the push-up. Now the push-ups are gonna work your chest, your triceps, and your shoulders, also your core muscles. So it's a really good overall upper body exercise. So. I really want you to pay attention to when you're doing these though. You wanna make sure when you're doing the push up, your arms aren't flared out, your elbows aren't flared out on the way down. Once you get into your standard push up position, I want you to tuck those elbows in slightly. Don't brush them all the way up against your body, but just bring them closer to your body. This is gonna allow this to be a better movement for your shoulders and your elbows. Again, control the descent. Three seconds to four seconds every time you lower and then push yourself back up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 on the way down, or even up to four seconds. If you're doing a three to four second eccentric contraction or descent, then that's gonna be huge for that time under tension. It's gonna make a big difference. All right, and we are gonna get into a back exercise here. Now for this, we're gonna do something a little bit different. You'll notice I'm doing two different dumbbells. If you only have one, you can do this with one, but I really want you to focus on getting a good stretch in your lats. So you don't wanna lock your arms out when you're doing this. 
it's gonna be the dumbbell pullover on the floor. Once you get into a full extended position with your arms, then slightly bend your elbows just a little bit and then keep them there because if you bend the elbows every time you go down and you extend them on the way up, you're gonna notice your triceps doing a lot of the work. This is not meant to be a tricep exercise. It's meant to be a lat exercise. So really focus on locking those arms in that position. Now, nice slow cadence as well, about three seconds to lower and then really contract your core on the way up as well. Tighten your abs as you come up. That way your lower back doesn't get stressed at the bottom. So I want you to shoot for about 20 reps here. So it can be 12 to 20, depending on where you're at and what stage of your fitness journey you're in, but just make sure you're feeling that stretch in your lats. Now the last exercise we're gonna do, it's gonna be burning some of that body fat off. You're also gonna get your hormones going, you're gonna get your heart rate up. So we're gonna be doing some mountain climbers. So two different versions of these, you'll notice how I'm starting out, it's more of a slow marching type of mountain climber. You can do these, I want you to shoot for 20 with each leg, 20 per side, so almost 40 repetitions. Now, if this becomes way too easy or you're more advanced, then you'll notice I'm ramping up and turning up the speed a little bit into more of a jog. You can do a jog or even a full on sprint when you're doing these. So again, it just completely depends on where you're at in your fitness journey. But shoot for three, even four sets of these because not only is this gonna help you build muscle, keep that core tight and keep the core and stability strong, but you're also gonna be burning some body fat when you're adding this exercise to the other part of the muscle building routine. Do this and you will get phenomenal results, man. So I hope you liked the video and that's all that I got. Thanks so much for watching it and as always, get busy, get after it, and God bless.